Hello, this is High Templar with my Total War Ancient Empires multiplayer battle and today I'm leading Epirus, Epirote League and I am fighting uh, Bactria which both are my factions that I really really like and I think that Bactria is actually slightly better, I mean I like them slightly more but let's just review the units while they are moving through this map so actually I got myself six pikes and these are Haonian Longdas Phalanx so those guys have six seven uh, offense and defense nine armor rating and uh, quite high morale not 20 because that's just because other guys are around but I believe it's 11 or, or 10, it's, it's very it's very large. Then I have... Uh, then I have Mercenary Tueroforoi. Three on each flank, so this is infantry heavy build. And I have Mercenary Rodian Slingers. Two on each flank. And I also have Royal Agema Cav and Thessalian Cav on this flank and two Royal Agema Cavs on this flank. Very powerful Shock Cavs, I do love Shock Cavs. My enemy has brought Bactian uh, Trorkai. Actually, I not my favorite, but very solid unit. These are Agema Hoplites and I'm already scared. There is a these are already Bactrian Tuerophoroid, so this guy brought same as I. Four of them, actually, I brought six. Very good choice. And another Agema Hoplites, that's like very bad news for me. And King's Guards, and in the back he has Bactrian Noble Horse and two King's Guards. So this is very similar to the build that I'm bringing, although I do bring Pikes. And yeah, inside we also have. Indian longbowmen, very scary units with the range of 220 and range offense of 6. However, I do believe some of those guys do not have upgrades. Seeing as I move, I wanted to get those guys in, in a chance that there will be somebody in the forest here. I've got my Rodians on this side. And also here, the same, I will be, you know, adjusting my line accordingly. And let's see how that works. He is bringing a trap for uh, in this forest, but I do know he has some cav in either this or that forest. So, as you can see, oh, the engagement is about to start. I am moving my pikes, he's starting to fire, I'm starting to fire. And actually my mercenary uh, Rodian Slingers are getting focused fire, which is very bad for me because I'm mismanaging it. At the same time, my left flank hasn't moved properly yet. And before I am able to react, Those poor guys already wavering and broken at... They lost only 30 men and they already broke. Because of that being... Actually, they are at, at least they are getting some of the firepower. So what I'm doing now here and the other unit is... Uh, I'm, uh, I'm retreating them to the safety out of the range of the archer so I can fire back at them mismanaging the left flank for now but as you can see already firing into them uh, making my Tuerophoroi attack the Agema Hoplites with the Javelins which I thought is a good idea on this flank moving my Pike Phalanx to his full glory Rodians, very nice units models 
those guys actually it looks amazing very similar to the Rome but still slightly different and the Agema calf so my phalanx moving ahead my Twero Foro is standing still to throw their javelins there is uh, already a problem with this unit morale for a minute now I'm starting to move my left flank fast and the Rodians are already pummeling my enemy with some slinger fire. Keeping my calf in a bag because of those spears I just want to save them for later basically. Keeping a single unit of those Twerophoroi close by to my calf. And I'm noticing there guys so I'm attacking with two units of uh, Twerophoroi. And advancing my phalanx throwing Twerophoroi into that Twerophoroi as you can see the missile all that missile fire from several hundred men did nothing to the unit although they are moving so that's a plus I missed the charge into those guys I charge into this unit these are king guards against uh, Agema, so Agema lancers should be a very good uh, match for them. They are being attacked by in the back by Twerophoroi, but I am uh, uh, attacking with mine. I am adjusting my pike flank, as you can see, and my Twerophoroi here. And I'm moving my pikes against those uh, longbowmen to distract them. At here, we have a nice charge into the backhand Twerophoroi from my the Thessalians and the Royal Agema Calf and this guy already breaking this is not the unit that wants to be charged especially if it was being attacked before moving my phalanx again uh, after the general to close down this part of the, of the engagement here totally surrounded those guys are trying to run away I'm trying to rain uh, to catch them with single unit of Twerophoroi or Twerophoros basically Twero Spears I'm engaging with my five phalanx to this unit of uh, Bactrians and charging another unit straight into uh, straight into the side. Those guys attacked into the side of my phalanx but didn't do much damage. That wasn't a very good charge. And now, now it's not going too well for them. Now my uh, cav here broke another unit of Twerophoroi. Uh, so there is only Agema Hoplites here, which is to be expected, but it's being held by two units of pikes. And I'm charging into the those units with everything I've got I've managed to get my pikes in my pike phalanx into the king guards and breaking them effectively I'm trying to and this pike unit will be broken I mean it will be attacked in the back I'm trying to counter but too slowly those pikes are not going to do much but this unit is being totally broken I'm bringing another pike unit to reinforce at the same time here charged in the back of this unit but through the forest still you can see this uh, this unit will be at some point breaking hopefully Still, uh, my mercenary uh, Rodian Slingers are still attacking and I've broken everything that there was. When there was no other units beside the Agema, they've uh, decided to stop. And at this point, I, also this unit has broken and I'm charging those uh, Indian archers. They weren't for a very long on this battlefield, but they have very nice kills. But against the charge of Royal Agema Calf, they are. They don't really have a chance. Still waiting for this Twerophoros uh, or Twerophoroi to break, and I'm adjusting my pike lines here. 
to need my in the case those guys breaking but at this point my enemy has retreated so my 204 I did okay -ish. as you can see 130 kills on this guy 70 or 50 on this guy but the rest of, uh, rest of them underperformed Pikes did very well one was caught in the back twice once from the saltman and once from the um, charging enemy general killing 17 only but still my calf mostly engaged their calf and was breaking force really those Thessalians with the general killed a lot of Indian longbowmen but also some routing units those guys were mostly in the very hard very hard engagement with three units uh, from 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 the enemy three cav units from the enemy so but they they went out from there victorious very poor kills on my Rodians except for this guy so yeah and uh, on my on my enemy side you can see 100 well you can barely see 180 some kills on some of those Bactrian Tuerophoros or Tuerophoroi uh, not many kills on Agema Hoplites I would expect a lot more some of them were pummeled by my um, javelins but I don't think that they actually did that much because not many kills on my Tuerophoroi Indian longbowmen did very well for their price they are very cheap and they are doing very well, very good range routed one of my units of uh, mercenary Rodians very well indeed the king guards were cough odd guard, pun intended so they didn't do many kills and this is actually the same build I'm using because I want to like to have 4 cav so I'm using Bactrian Noble Horse which has a very good charge bonus it says it's a melee cav but I would call it rather shock one and those king guards, three king guards, and I'm using like usually Indian longbowmen and usually four Tuerophoros, but I'm using pikes and some other and some other lighter units uh, of the infantry with a high charge, basically. So yeah. Uh, anyhow, that was a very good battle, I believe, and there will be a second battle uh, with the same opponent who's uh, Evis and that one will be the, with the cartridge thank you for watching I hope you like it if you did press like comment if you will and see my other let's plays from Total War series but also different games thank you for watching and see you later